that it could happen in America. That it could happen now. That it could ever happen to me. Jack Whittier is my name. Maybe you remember my byline. I was the youngest member of the Washington Press Corps, its fastest rising star, one of the best and brightest, as we used to say. Before so much blood passed under those pretty Potomac bridges. I was having an affair with the president's daughter and I wanted out. Without hurting her feelings or frankly my career. So I had my paper reassign me to our bureau in Budapest. President heard I was banished for being too pro-administration. And he offered me a job which I couldn't refuse. Which is where the terrible events that were to destroy my career and my life begin. Boy, it's silver. I found it in a little shop. I didn't think there were such things left. What's it for? You mean you don't know? Honest to God, Giselle, I'll have you in Washington within six weeks. I'll get you a visa. I'll get you a job. I don't want a job. A job with who? The FBI? Stop it, Giselle. Now, will you come on? You're trying to get somebody killed? You ran me right into the tree. What are you doing? I'm just standing here right in the middle of the road. Will you say something? What's the matter? Can't you speak English? Giselle, uh, will you get back in the car? I've got to make it to the airport. I'm sorry, sir. I just, I lost my temper. But my car won't start, and I have to catch a plane. It's very important. Do you know, is there a gas station around or someone that could help me? Hey. It won't start. Hey, mister! I really need help! How do you say help? Jackie! Come on. Jackie! Now, please, the only reason I'm asking you is because my car crashed because of him. Now, could you just give me a little help, please? I'm dying for this one. Sir, if we want to leave, please. We can't leave, God damn it! I told you my car is stuck. Listen! And it's because of him, it's all his fault. He ran me off the road. What are you afraid of? You don't have to go anywhere. I've been sixteen hundred million dollars worth of made every year. No. Stop. What are you looking at? Will you quit looking at yourself? Thank you. 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 Thank Yes. 
got to be a house down that road where I can get a phone. Just wait for me here, Giselle. Leave the headlights on, okay? Okay. There. There. Over there? Yes. Over there. Oh, fine. Is it far? Yes, it is far. How far? Uh, not too much. Oh, good, I can walk. No, not tonight. Come in. Do you know what time? The, 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 the departure schedule of the train? Not tonight. The moon. Moon. Don't Come come in. The... Oh, not tonight. Come Thank in. you, I'm in a hurry. Come in. Oh. What are you afraid of? been a wolf. We could find no corpse. Oh, come on. I killed a man, and I killed him with this thing. You said it was an accident, my it boy. It was an accident. But are you going to just take my word for it? Aren't you going to detain me? The inspector has offered us his car and the driver. What's going on here? This country is crawling with bureaucrats. Where are they? Why aren't they here questioning us? Jack, they are willing to let go us. Let's go. What are you trying to cover up? Is the White House behind us? The what house? The White House. Take it easy. You don't even know what are you saying. What she say? She says you are feverish because of the bone. I'm afraid I must ask you to leave the area at once. I tell you again. No one has been reported missing. No corpse has been found. If you continue to make a nuisance of yourself, I shall have you lock it up. How come do you speak English? Huh? That was your son that I killed, wasn't it? Ne, Yes, that was her son. And you don't even care that I killed him? Zedan Squad, San Litos. Ethan Napathan of Litos. She says you didn't kill him. You released him. He needed to die. Long to rest. Because of the communists? Secret police? The dark. The phantom. 
because of the sign of the pentagram. Ah, uh, the pentagon is behind all of this. The pentagram, the mark of the beast. Steve. Oh, that's just a bunch of insanity. Whoever is beaten by a werewolf and lives becomes a werewolf himself. Oh, bull. Find out who she's working for. The Savango Sul Comfortable. The bull beat you, didn't he? Yes, damn it. So, let us know. Let us for us. Banda. 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 Wear this charm over your heart always. And remember, a werewolf can only be killed with a silver bullet or a stick with a silver handle. Heaven help you, my son. President wants to see you. He's in my bedroom. Mr. Bond does not represent the people of Maryland. Oh, hello there, Mr. President. You know, I was just telling the Attorney General here that Senator Bond. Oh, he makes me so sick. I just can't stand it. Mrs. Gautry, I'm sure your husband doesn't even feel that strongly about it. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. President. Jack, you see the kind of problems we have here. The judge. I want you to meet Jack Whittier, the new assistant press secretary. How do you do? Mrs. Captree. Oh, is he the Jewish young man that you hired to muzzle me? <laughs> no, uh, I'm afraid they couldn't find him. Oh, well, you look smart. <laughs> uh, I'm going to excuse myself now. You sleep tight now, Mr. President. <laughs> oh, Mary. Hello, Jack. My, that Marion's such a lovely girl. Did the Washington Times really send you to Siberia for shocking the truth to her, Mr. Whittier? It, it was Hungary. What? Hungary? Well, come on, Margie, I think it's time we left for home, too. Oh, no, Elliot, honey. Well, why don't you run along like you always do? I'm sure this nice young man will see me home, won't you, honey? I think your father's a cross between Abraham Lincoln and Jesus Christ. I'm engaged to be married, Jack. Already? To that psychiatrist guy? You know, anytime you have people marching in the streets, you're just catering to revolution. You know what my husband says? Well, my husband says many times that he actually prefers some of the Russian communists against the liberal com <coughs> columnists in this country. What's the matter with my hands? Oh, nothing. 
the damn thing myself. They didn't have a, didn't even have a station break. And this, this prejudiced, hostile critic is the commentator they put on right after the president's address about capturing. Well, I have the network's word. They're gonna bury this guy someplace. What do you mean? Give him an ax. Drop it. You're kidding. No. The president is fed up with this guy's facial expressions and gestures. We've got some friends there. It's the other networks I'm worried about. Here, take a look at the speech the vice president's going to read tomorrow night. <coughs> we are going to war against the networks, Jack. We're going to win back the minds and hearts of the American people. And we have got to have Captree on that court to win the fight or we're in trouble. Well, you understand. Hey, look, uh, Jack, there's a, there's a line in there I have trouble with, something about uh, the views of a small group. The small, how does small strike you? That's uh, a little mm -hmm. soft. Uh, what would you call your uh, compatriots at the press if you wanted to be, uh, you know, a little more flashy? Uh, let's see. Well, at their worst, a uh, coterie of impudent snobs. Or, <laughs> or uh, no, I mean, really, I that's could good. find some. Uh, oh, that, that's great. We'll use it. You're kidding. No, it's just what we want. Look, the man told me to give you a draft of the speech and listen to your suggestions on it. Now I know why. I want you to spice it up a bit, huh? Well, I don't know. I mean, I wouldn't use that line that I just suggested. Why not? That is exactly what we want. And not now. Yeah. My God. What's this country coming to? Mrs. Captree was just found dead. Guts ripped open.
guess I asked that last night. Yeah, I guess you did. But gee, uh, I haven't been in the White House in a long time. Well, not everyone gets to see all of the White House, Jack. Uh, I'm supposed to meet with your father. It's really awful about Mrs. Castry, isn't it? And those shoes they found, it's weird. Is that, uh, Marion? The president's waiting for me. I better not keep them. Hasn't Judge Captree asked that his nomination be withdrawn because of this horrible tragedy? Well, I've asked him not to make that request. Frankly, I don't want his name withdrawn. The current permissive trends continue in this country. I'm worried about national anarchy. Andrea, you and I, we don't see eye to eye about most things. Never asked for your support, and I, I never received it. But if your paper could change its position, it would swing the nomination for him. I'll think about it, Mr. President. Good. I'm sorry to have kept you here so late. Oh, uh, by the way, I've asked the FCC to act as quickly as possible upon that application, <laughs> no matter what position you take. After all, I do owe you a favor. You hadn't banished Jack here to uh, Budapest. Well, I wouldn't have a new assistant press secretary. Uh, good evening, oh, darling. Well, Mr. President, we didn't banish Jack. I begged him to stay here, didn't I, Jack? He requested the transfer for personal reasons. And he's welcome to come back any time. Thank you. <coughs> Jack? Hmm. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I have to go, uh, Mr. President. Uh, I'll see you. Tomorrow. I'll leave with Jack. No, uh, yeah, I mean, I'll stay here with you, Mr. President. Oh. Well, I'll think it over, Mr. President. I may surprise you. Oh, thank you, Andrea. Good night. Good night. Good night, Jack. Good night. Good night. Jack. 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 I think I could be your friend, Jack. If you could just accept that. I'd like to be. You don't look well, Jack. Jack. Don't wait for me there, Marion. Wait for me in your room. Go away now. Jack. Jack.
Because it's a werewolf. A weird wolf? A werewolf. Werewolf. Can you imagine what happened if the press gets a hold of that? I think the kid did himself. He looks like he could sever a jugular. Well, I don't think the kid did it. No, maybe he did do it. His obvious hatred of female authority figures, the expression he keeps using, mother. Well, it fits the pattern of the crimes. Prominent middle-aged women found near national monuments. Well, I don't think the kid did it. You're the whiz kid. You keep him from the press. Hi, how are you? Uh, could you just tell me exactly what you saw? Look, we just saw this figure running away. A figure running away? Uh, was it a man or a woman? Or was it light or dark? Or was it light or dark? It was too dark to tell. The figure was dark, wasn't it? This figure was dark. All right, it was dark. It was very Debbie, dark. Debbie, Debbie, just be cool. A black man. No, it was a werewolf, you racist pig. Uh, just one minute, Look, don't boy. point your finger at me. Uh, who are you talking to? Take it easy. Take it easy. Look, we didn't do anything. Uh, Take it easy. Now, uh, could, you, could you kids tell me uh, something more detail about this running figure? Uh, it was hairy. It walked funny. Uh-huh. The Panthers! How do you know it's the Panthers? I know it! Fuck them! Fuck them? Oh, wait a minute, what for? Narcotics! Oh, no, 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 wait a minute, listen. Uh, where are you kids staying? At the Chevrolet Hilton. The what? <laughs> Big bus on the mall. I'm just trying to help you. Uh, we're going to assign an FBI agent to keep you under surveillance, or else we're going to have to lock you up. Oh, wow, man. Yes, thank you. Hmm. Uh, you stay with me. Right. Well, sir, do you have any leads? I mean, this is the second murder of a national figure in two days. Are you sure you have enough manpower to trap the killer? I mean, your boys seem to be busy with the networks. Let me tell you something. None of this would have happened if you people didn't support the very elements in our society that did this. Easy, Mom. Easy. Don't, don't let them get to you. How do you know that we support the elements when you don't have one single lead? We do have a suspect, and an indictment is imminent. Sir, I must insist that you stop talking to these people. Does imminent mean today, tomorrow, or indefinitely, sir? Imminent means tomorrow morning, 9 o'clock. I'm sorry, sir. And won't you bleeding hearts be surprised? He doesn't have one indictment. He's too busy investigating us. You see? See? Jack! Jack! Remington I want to show you out here that Blackwood gave it to me when it made me cheap to you. 
Forget this. Two weeks. Indispensable to me. I need you now more than ever. It's about those shoes, sir. Shoes? Yeah. What shoes? Jack, would you please stop scratching the palms of your hands? It's just not manly. It's about the murders, sir. I don't believe that the Panthers did them. Well, there hasn't been a murder since we put a guard on that black boy. But the moon hasn't risen yet. Put a guard on me. Damn that mob out there. Now look, Jack. Well, what is the meaning of this? That speech you wrote last night was just great. The networks, they don't know what hit them. And it's all because of you. I want to assign you full time to writing speeches for the vice president. Mr. President, I think... I mean, I think I'm... A, I think I'm a real good. Yeah, uh, Senator, Mr. President. What? Senator, well, speak up, goddammit, I can't hear you. Uh, Senator, Mr. President. Oh, uh, Senator. He threw it up for grabs. It was deflected as he threw it up. That... Now, Jack, we all get disturbed at some time or another over some damn little thing. But I won't hear of you leaving the team until you've had a chat with Commander Sam. All right? Mr. President. Hello. Oh, Joan. Good to see you. Come in, come in.
Jack, I don't want to talk about your symptoms now, but they're not very hard to explain. Now, you feel guilty because you were with both of these women when they were killed. And, and you don't think that in itself is strange? And you have the feeling that you could have done something to stop it, coupled with guilt feelings for having murderous... Well, look at this. Guilt feelings for having murderous wishes towards these women for beautiful reasons for both of which you want to be punished. Will you look at this? So? I saw this in the palm of each of my victims. Jack, I want to help you. Well, then lock me up. Come over to the hospital tomorrow and we'll talk about it. But someone's gonna die tonight! Will you two faggots shut up? Jack, I cannot help you unless you really want me to help you. Now remember what I told you. Jack Whitter, you're on the line for Cliff Napes. Cliff? Jack, fine. Little favor. I look, who would I talk to over there to find out if someone from Budapest is a red dart? Maybe Chinese. G-I-S-E-L-L-E. Frenic, F-R-E-N-N-I-K. French Romanian, about 30. Uh, correspondent for the Budapest House Organ. Jack Whittier. Salmon? Yes, I did. And now he has me thinking that uh, what, whatever was bothering me was all in my mind. No, no. no that's just between me and my analyst. cover up some political activities here. Assassinations. No. What? You want to smoke here? Secret Service man never publishes a book.
Little Man without you. You know, we want to uh, make it. You know what I mean, don't you? Make it? Do it? Capital steps. <laughs> no, man. We really want to take a walk. Uh, could you uh, stay behind, you know, like a uh, hundred people? Ladies and gentlemen, before I answer your questions, I would like to make a brief announcement. I have called this conference because of the mass hysteria and now tragedy surrounding a case that we're all very much aware of. <coughs> aware of. Aware of. Uh, today, I'm pleased to announce the indictment of... Uh, <coughs> secondly... The anarchist must be punished. And thirdly, I think he's missing a uh, we must have Captree on the Supreme Court. If he so threatens the people, they will stop at nothing. <coughs> yeah. Uh, questions? Mr. President, Mr. President. Uh, yes. uh, sir, is it true that the same black man you're holding for murder was himself brutally attacked last night? No, no, I, I, I didn't point at you. I was pointing at her. Her. Oh, he's Mr. President, the Vice President made a speech last night. I was wondering if you would comment yes, on I'm, I, I'm, I'm glad you asked that question. I, I would like to make one thing perfectly clear. The, the Vice President does not clear his speeches with me. 
Is the conference over? Um, no. I just had to leave. You know, I tried calling you last night after you hung up. Where were you? Did you? Where was I? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I, I'm uh, sorry to interrupt, but that uh, color that uh, black kid uh, died. I don't care what it is you're going through, son. Commander Salmon assures me that your problems will not interfere with your job, and that's good enough for me. But I don't think Dr. Salmon... Now, wait, 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 Jack, wait. Ha, 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 look at that. <laughs> Jack. Yes, sir. I, I don't care what this gypsy lady told you. Commander Salmon tells me that in, uh, in your case, or let's say that in, in this case, the existence of a werewolf has not been verified. So how could you be a werewolf? Hmm? Well, sir... Where's the ball? Where's the damn ball? I'll take off your shoes or, or get in the gutter. I'm going to let you in, Lucy. Whether you know this or not, but I get frightened too. in you. They do. You're going places, Jack, and I, I like to be part of it. There it is. Just up President, uh, tonight, uh, when the moon is full. Oh, Jack. Oh, tonight, when the moon is full. Get out of here, boy. Stick together and strengthen one another. 
I believe in you, Jack. I want you to believe in me. I promise to stand by you in this crisis, Jack, if you promise me that you'll stand by yourself. Jack, you throw the ball for Christ's sake. I can't, sir. Well, sure you can, Jack. I'm sure. No, I can't. I've been trying to tell you. Jack, well, what kind of a man are you, anyway? I've been trying to tell you, sir. The first thing happens, my fingers start to swell before the moon rises. And now my fingers are stuck in a ball. I can't get it off. Oh, Jack, I have a meeting in the war room. Please. I can't go. Jack, look, Amanda Salmon will be there. Everything will be fine. I'm stuck in a ball! Don't make a ball. It's a ball! load up their planes with bombs, fly them anywhere they want, drop them anywhere they want, without any authorization. They're so damn incorrigible. And then it drops in our lap. And we don't even hear about it until we read it in the paper. Well, I'm fed up with being a nice guy. Entire country is talking about sex murders and wash and weird wolf. This is just what the papers have been waiting for. Did you see this uh, article in this morning's Times? Articles like that are appearing in every newspaper in every city in the country. Oh, I think we, I think we, I think we ought to crucify them. The networks, they can't even control their own people anymore. Ooh. That circus of hippies outside the White House is getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Well, now, wait a minute. I understand Congress is threatening you with impeachment proceedings. You're confusing the issue. I am afraid of complete civil disorder. My recommendation is that we declare martial law, put a curfew on the whole city, and bring the army in on this. The army? Uh, I think we should uh, hold off on that. <clears throat> gentlemen, gentlemen, I'd like to come uh, directly to the point. I would like to be able to announce the withdrawal of all troops totally and immediately in Southeast Asia. But frankly, uh, I'm afraid of the uh, reaction from the lunatic right. Uh, General Derosha, or excuse me, General, uh, Admiral, Admiral Derosha, you are a politically astute tactician, well aware of the uh, tensions on the home front. What can I do to keep down casualties here and abroad while I speed up truth, uh, uh, troop withdrawals? Sir, if we can make just one last quick thrust into his sanctuaries, covered by a reactive, uh, protracted reconnaissance, uh, an active, uh, radiative uh, Radiation? reconnaissance. Uh, what did I miss? Uh, try to stay awake over there, Harry. Yes, sir. A protective, reactive reconnaissance. An okay, let's do it. Well, sir, hmm? uh, don't you think we should notify Congress? Notify Congress? What do you think, sir? Yeah. Now, uh, oh, God damn it, let's, well, let's just ignore them. Gentlemen, our credibility is at stake throughout the world. No, I will not be found wanting in this nuclear age. Uh, just one more thing, gentlemen. About our plan to recognize Red China. <laughs> oh, Mr. President! He's a great kidder, isn't he? <laughs>
I don't care. No, they don't have to be ballistically perfect. Well, can you make one by tonight? All right, then send me one. won't stop it. Maybe we can get it with a, a tank or a flamethrower. I don't want him destroyed under any circumstances. Don't you realize how important it is to our programs? You must issue the order that he be taken alive. It's uh, damn interesting, uh, Dr. Kiss, about the, the programs. Uh, uh, just, uh, just what the hell are our uh, scientific programs? Oh, I haven't any more time for this. I have my own work to tend to. Brother, he's pretty much the law. I mean, word leaks out that there's a werewolf running around and we can't kill it. Well, just don't let it. Only you and I have seen this. Just keep all the people off the streets tonight and we'll handle it. I don't know about that. I mean, I'm up to my neck in this Asian policy stuff and then uh, two students out in Ohio. I respectfully submit, sir, that that is your problem. Oh, uh, <clears throat> Dr. Kiss? 
Dr. Kiss. Mm -hmm. Dr. Kiss, what do you think of my Southeast Asian policy? Dr. Kiss? shape is a scar on my shoulder with just one night to fill in the shape of the five-pointed star. Another murder tonight at Watergate, my apartment. And there's no doubt about it, the shoes we found at the Pentagon are his. And the shirt. And the shirt. If I can just catch a plane tomorrow, I'll have a full month to find that old gypsy woman before the full moon rises again. And doctor, I know you, you can find a way to tell the president so that there won't be a search for me tonight or an investigation. But you have to lock me up tonight. All right, I'm convinced. We'll lock you up. We can't let the press know about this. We can't let anybody know about it. Yeah. There's no doubt the press would seize on your personal tragedy to discredit the president. Well, frankly, I don't even want him to know. He's got enough on his mind already. Jack. I'm sorry about this. Could you tell him? Marion? I didn't think I might be able to get some rest tonight, knowing I'm chained up. Let's go. What's that? It's a time-lapse camera, Jack. Presumably it'll go on during the transformation. You are what you say you are. We owe it to science to make a record of it. Oh, and the president wants a copy for his new library. Oh, Captain Salmon, would you turn on the television for me? I'd like to watch the president's address tonight. Still angry over the... I have to leave soon, Captain Jack, but... I'll be back after the address is over. Oh, I can't believe I have to go through another night of this agony. <sighs> Captain Salmon, you see that cane? It's a cane right by the television set. Pick it up. Pick it up. Then not hit me with it. Hit me with it. On the head. Kill me. I'm just a violent beast. And I'm better off dead. I'm better off dead. Jack, I'm better off dead. Jack, kill me, will you? Pull yourself together, Jack. There's nothing to whimper about. Well, I guess this station will do. He's going to be on all the stations. I don't, uh, don't all right, Jack. I'll, I'll be back after the address. Jack. No one did anything to me, Marion. Will you 
Get out of here? Are you insane? Who did this to you? Miss Mary, will you leave my chains alone? Did you do this to yourself? Oh, just leave them alone, Mary. God damn it! Will you get out of here? Out! Out! Will you please stop barking at me? <coughs> now, please stop that nonsense. It's not nonsense, Marion. Please, will you leave before anything happens to you? No, I'm not going to leave. Of course not. In fact, I'm spending the night here. What? So that you can see this is all in your mind. Oh, Mary, get the hell out of here! Don't worry, I'll leave your chains on. What's that? Marion, just next to the TV, there's a gun there. You see it? All right, it's loaded. Now, if anything happens to me, if I change, that's the only thing that can keep me from killing someone else. Oh, Jack, stop it! Marion, if you insist on staying here, you can at least do that for me. Keep it with you at all times. Now, you can do that for me, can't you, Marion? You can at least do that! Jack, I, I know I gave you a few days off, but it's just that the uh, press secretary is ill and I, I need you there. I guess it's my most important address ever. I'm announcing an arms limitation agreement with the Chinese foreign minister, and I, well, I just don't want the public to think that it's a cover for the curfew I'm imposing upon Washington tonight. I just don't want to sound like the little boy who cried wolf. You know what I mean, Jack? What? Uh, Jack, I'm sorry. I'm going to have to insist. Yes. Well, I've already sent a chopper over there to pick you up. Chopper. Uh, hell, you know, hell, a chopper. You know. Oh. Mr. President, isn't that your helicopter over there? They're all my helicopters, Jack. Oh. <laughs> Well, <laughs> this is a special occasion, Mr. Prime Minister. It's the first time we've ever interrupted our nation's television broadcasting for an unannounced press conference. Isn't that right, Jack? I understand it comes at a very good time. Is it true that everybody in Washington is afraid of a werewolf? A werewolf? <laughs> no, no, I, I haven't heard that story. <laughs> oh, is that so? I read a report of it in one of the Hanoi papers. It sounded like a case of mass hysteria. <laughs> Well, it sounds like an amusing report, Mr. President. <laughs> Jack, would you look into that? Jack? <laughs> oh, where would you? <laughs> Jack? <laughs> I haven't read any of those shadow papers. <laughs> We will introduce you to the nation, and then I will come on next with an... Hey, this is the most... Yeah, uh, 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 Mr. Prime Minister, no, we are going to introduce you first to the nation. Uh, uh, let's see, how do you say that in the Chinese? Uh, oh, 
Wa Shen uh, Chir Sun. Uh, we, you'll be the grabber. You see, uh, you'll get the people, uh, uh, and, and then, then that'll raise a certain amount of speculation, Mr. Prime Minister, and then, then, then I'll come on, and that'll give the people what they've been waiting for. Do you understand? Uh, I come on, I come on, Mr. Prime Minister, you're not listening. Uh, Mr. Prime Minister. Wa Shen Chir Chowney. You understand, Mr. Prime Minister? I don't understand at all. Then I come on and then I'll... I'm not talking about this. I'm talking about this. Hey, that this is not the thing I want. I don't want him here. What? I, I, just leave Jack out of this. Will you just talk to me for a moment? What I'm talking about, Mr. Prime Minister... Let's talk about this first. I don't want to see him here. Mr. Prime Minister, would you please pay attention here just a moment? Now, uh, Jack. Jack, will you pay attention to... God damn it! Uh, I told you... Uh, is this a joke? Oh, you said what? Oh, no. <laughs> no, 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 no
Gets out, General. He's changed back. Who's to say any of us saw what we saw? An autopsy. We'll have an autopsy. No, 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 no. My mind, it's playing tricks on me. Listen, we'll we'll give him a uh, a hero's burial. He became he, he came between. A sniper's bullet and the president's daughter. Yeah. Right. We trace this gun, find out who the owner is. No, no, bury it, bury it, bury it with last year's nerve gas. The president's going to be all right. He just has a little bite on the neck. Thank God. Help! Tell Marion uh, her father's going to be all. Never mind. Well, you guys won't have Jack Whittier to kick around anymore. My fellow Americans, this is your president speaking to you from the White House. First, 
I want to thank you for your letters and telegrams offering me your best wishes during my recent illness. Secondly, I know I can count on your support as I lash out against the enemies of America, both in the press as well as the Senate, Republicans as well as Democrats, white as well as black, who have circulated the vicious rumors holding members of my administration responsible for the recent and tragic deaths of just a few of my political uh, opponents. At night, I roam the silent, empty corridors of this great house, wrestling with my conscience, and I've come to this conclusion. If I'm to prevent our enemies from destroying, not me, but the very office of the presidency, I must have your support. And so, and so, And so, and so, I... 